Hello everyone, it's Robin here and today I'm pretty excited because I have a little bit of a mini pin haul to share with you today and I'm very excited about it. I have some monthly release pins that come from Shop Disney. I have a park pickup, but I also have another piece of pin mail that comes from a small shop on Etsy and it includes some fantasy pins and I'm pretty excited to get into this. So let's just open up this pin mail. So let's start with the fantasy pins because I'm really excited to get into these. Now I'm fairly new to the fantasy pin game and these come from a small shop on Etsy called Alicia's Wonderland. And let me tell you, that shop was amazing. Now like I said, I'm fairly new to the fantasy pin game. Uh, fantasy pins are made by fans. They're not licensed by Disney. But because they're made by fans, they tend to be a bit more exquisite because Fans make pins of what they love. And um, when I went on her shop, that's exactly that, that's exactly what I was seeing. And oh my gosh, these pins are really pretty. So of course, the first pin I got, because you know, we're all mad here, has to do with the Cheshire Cat. Wow, he is gorgeous. And he's on a Disneyland D, which makes it even better because I love my Disneyland. Look at the colors on this pin. It says we're all mad here. And there he is grinning down at the bottom. This pin is beautiful. Now there were a few options when you go to buy pins on her shop. You can pre-order pins, so she'll put up designs that are coming. Um, you can order the pin, or there is also a flawed option where you can save some money. I did buy a flawed option, and um, I am not seeing any flaws here. So the flaws are minor enough to go out, but enough to where she, her quality control didn't match for her so I did save a little money by doing that I wanted to see what a flawed pin would be and um, I am NOT seeing any flaws so I'm pretty excited about this now in this bag also is a sticker of the pin look at that that's really cool so she does sell stickers on her shop too so that is really nice and of course there's her business card. So this is a really fun pin. The backer card is really pretty too because it has all of the Alice florals in the back. Let me give you a close up of this. So here we have the pin right on the backer card because I wanted to show you how exquisite this backer card is too. So it's Alicia's Wonderland and it has Alice upside down in a teacup, which is just really fun. I love that. And these are all of the florals that you see in Wonderland. Super pretty. And then of course there is our gorgeous Cheshire Cat. Let me take him off the backer and let's get a close up of him. I am in love with this pin. I will tell you that the colors are really vibrant and pretty very much Alice in Wonderland, that's for sure. It feels like it's made from hard enamel, which is really nice because it makes the quality uh, much better on a pin. I love hard enamel pins, which is what you'll find in Disney pins too. It gives it that smooth feel to the top. We're all mad here, so there's lettering on there. It is a uh, gold. Uh, base on this pin. Look at the Cheshire Cat smiling at the bottom and he's on the Disneyland D. That's so much fun. Now the backs of these pins are like that sand pin. It's like that sandy back. There's two pin posts to help hold it up. It is a decent sized pin. But I absolutely love it. This is going to look so cool in my Cheshire Cat collection. Ah, love it. And here's the sticker that came with it and it matches the pin very nicely. So um, this is really cute and I'm so happy she included this in there. She does have a sticker section on her shop. So I'm sure you can probably get stickers to match pretty much all the pins, don't you think? Ooh, I have to look into that. I'm pretty excited for this next pin I got from her because it features my three boyfriends who live in the Haunted Mansion. Beware of hitchhiking ghosts. Oh my gosh, this pin is amazing. So again, it's on the Disneyland D and um, I, it's got the Haunted Mansion look to it. It's got the pillars out front and there are the hitchhiking ghosts right at the bottom. Look at the deep blues in this pin with that blue green for the ghost. Absolutely am in love with this pin. And look, the backer card's different too. Has the Haunted Mansion, you know, from Disneyland because it's the Disneyland D. Let me give you a close up of this one. This backer card is really cool. It has her logo at the top, Alicia's Wonderland, with Alice upside down in the teacup, which is really funny. 
But the backer card is very Haunted Mansion, and this is the Haunted Mansion from Disneyland because it's a very New Orleans look mansion to it. There's the Disneyland D. Beware of hitchhiking ghosts in a very ghostly font. Very fun. The pillars of the Haunted Mansion, and it even says Haunted Mansion. And there's our little ghost. We have Phineas, my favorite, with his suitcase, Ezra, and then Gus over to the side. This pin is cute. Let me take it off this backer and give you a close up. The detail on this pin is just beautiful. I love the colors. Again, this is one of the flawed pins, so I did save some money on it and I could get it shipped right away. And um, I am not seeing any flaws on this pin, so it must be very minor, but look at how awesome this pin is. I love it. So the back of this pin does have Alicia's Wonderland logo um, imprinted on it, but I wanted to also show you the backers that you get. So they're just the rounded backers that you'll get with these pens. Oh my gosh, this is gonna look fabulous on my Haunted Mansion Hitchhiking Ghost Collection with the Disneyland D because that's fabulous. <laughs> Both of these pens are super cool. I'm going to probably definitely want to order more from her. I will link her shop down below for you so you can check it out. Um, I am very happy with the quality of these pens. Uh, they are very nice. They're a great size. There's a lot of detail on them and it's two of my favorite things. Cheshire Cat, Hitchhiking Ghost. How could you go wrong there, right? <laughs> so fun. Next, I wanna get into some of the monthly releases, which I'm pretty excited about. So this was a pickup that I had done, and they were done by two fabulous people, Hope and Abby, the Disney sisters. They picked these up for me in Walt Disney World because they are awesome like that. <laughs> so look at my fun Disney bag. So even if I can't be there, I can at least pretend I went shopping, right? <laughs> so um, this monthly release that I picked up, um, oh my gosh, they're my pop-up book pins. And we missed June, but they released two in July, so I have two of them here. And let me take them out and share them with you. So the first pin we have is from the pop-up book series, and it's Hercules. Oh my gosh, look how awesome he is, flying on Pegasus up in the clouds. This pin is really cool. And I like this because you open it up, because it's a book, right? So you open it up, and there's another scene. Oh my gosh, there he is, battling the giant snake, and a little bit of the story. This is really cool. Let me take it off of here and give you a close up. But before I do that, I wanna show you how cool the backer card is for these pins. You know, sometimes the backer cards are also just amazing. And this looks like a book, so it's really cool. Okay, now I'll take it off. So the front of this pin is really cool. It says Disney's Hercules, and here he is flying in the clouds with Pegasus, which is awesome. Look at those clouds, really pretty, right? But it's cool because you can open up the pin, and there we have Oh my gosh, look at that. So there's the giant snake. Now this is pin on pin, if you can see that right there. So that makes it really fabulous. And there's Hercules fighting him, super fun. And on this side, it tells a bit of the story. It says, once upon a time, Hercules discovered he was the long lost son of Zeus. In order to rejoin his family on Mount Olympus, he first needed to become a true hero. Using his mighty strength, Herc set out to prove himself Wow, that's super cool. I love that they include a part of the story in there. These pins are made really beautifully with the hinge element on this side, and look at how thick the pin is. Now these pins are limited edition to 4,000. There are two pin posts, which is very nice because it helps hold it on the board. Silver based with Mickey waffling going all the way across. And I'm loving this Hercules pop-up book pin. And Disney released their second pop-up book in the month of July, and it's for Hunchback of Notre Dame. Look at how cool Quasimodo looks on the front here. He is so awesome. Now, one thing that I have about the Hunchback is in Disneyland years ago, back where, um, well, right now, Star Wars was just built there, right? The Galaxy's Edge. But back in there, they did have the Festival of the Fool show for Hunchback. And that was so much fun to watch. And um, I remember the kids were young and they would all just sit around on the ground watching it. And it was quite a show. And it was kind of hidden back in the back of Disney, you know, where Galaxy's Edge is. <laughs> and um, it was really just a fun show. So that is, that's my real connection with Hunchback is always watching that show. Very colorful. You know, it's the Festival of the Fools, right? <laughs> Let me show you this pin because it's really fun. 
Wow, this pin is so shiny. And it says Disney's Hunchback of Notre Dame. You know, it's been ages since I've seen this movie. And you know, I think it's kind of a little bit of a sleeper film. I might need to watch it again, that's for sure. But I love him on the front here. Look at how gentle he is. Again, it has that pop-up book with the hinge element. And when you open this pen, wow, speaking of Festival of the Fools, look at that. So there he is hanging around and there's Esmeralda behind him. Again, he is pin on pin. So Quasimodo's pin on pin. Look at the detail and the colors going on in this. It's quite amazing, so beautiful. And on this side, of course, is the story and it says, once upon a time, Quasimodo, longing to be part of the world beyond his lonely bell tower, descended from the cathedral and joined in the topsy-turvy celebration of the Festival of the Fools below. And there he is. He's awesome, isn't he? So this pin too is limited edition to 4,000 and has the two pin posts, which really helps hold it on your pin board. It's beautiful. So I have my monthly release pin board here, and um, here's all the pop-up books that I've received so far, and I can add these to it. I am going to need to make some space, that's for sure. I'm gonna put Hercules right here, and you know, for the time being, I think we might need to put Quasimodo down. Well, I'm gonna put him right here so that we can see it better. I'm definitely gonna need to make space on this board, but this is really fun. Wow, look at that. Let me give you a close-up of this. So here's all the pop-up books that's been released so far. We have Peter Pan, we have Alice in Wonderland, Winnie the Pooh is cute, 101 Dalmatians, we have Princess and the Frog, we just got Hercules, and now we have Hunchback of Notre Dame. So I'm loving my monthly release board, but again, I think I'm gonna need a bigger board. So up here we have the Crest of the Kingdom pins that I've been collecting. Those are attraction-based pins in Disneyland. These are again all of the pop-up book pins, which are really cool. I have a couple of Medal of Honor pins. Um, I'm sorry, Magic of Honor pins. These are from Walt Disney World releases. Um, these are some of the vinyls, the record pens. Those are really awesome too. And uh, the Alice pins, these are some quarterly release pens. So these have been really fun. Now, um, the next pop-up book for August is being released on August 15th and it's Beauty and the Beast. So that one should be very popular, I'm sure. And I can't wait to get my hands on that. I've only been collecting all of the pop-up books and all of the Crest of the Kingdom, uh, but I do collect some of these others, you know, as I find a pin that I love. And the vinyl releasing actually today is, of course, Alice in Wonderland. So, you know, I might need to get that one because these pins are awesome. So I'll be able to show that to you later in the month. But um, I'm having fun with this monthly release board. And speaking of monthly releases, there's another monthly release that I'm pretty obsessed with, and that is from Shop Disney, and it's the Disney Wisdom Collection. And this is the monthly release that you can get at the Disney store or on the Shop Disney website or app. And um, they release at midnight, and um, lately I get up at midnight, well actually it's 2 a.m. in the morning where I live because it's midnight uh, Disneyland time, so Pacific time. And uh, I get up in the wee hours of the morning, hit buy and go back to sleep. But you know, lately the pins have been available afterwards. In fact, these pins I believe are still available on the Shop Disney site. And I don't know why, because they're adorable. This month's wisdom features Pinocchio, but it has Jiminy Cricket, Figaro, and a very awesome quote about letting your conscience be your guide. Let me take it out of the package and I can give you a close up. So here's the backer card for the wisdom collection and what's fun is the backer card always matches the same color as the collection and each month the collection has been a different hue, a different color and each pin in the, in the collection has been the same color. So I think that's kind of fun. It looks really cool on the banner which I'll show here in a moment but I wanted to give you a close up of this backer card because it's really cool. Let me take the pins off and we will look at them. Our first pin is usually my favorite pin. I just love these quote pins in the frames. And this is always let your conscience be your guide, which is very much uh, what Pinocchio is about, right? When you look at the backs of these pins, they do say Disney Wisdom Collection, but I love the top that says, give a little whistle. <laughs> That's about as good as I can whistle. These have one pin post. Um, they are limited release pins because they are a monthly release. Um, I like the coloring of this pin too, which you'll see why here in a moment, but this pin is really 
pretty. Look at that, I love the frames. We get this coloring, of course, because of Jiminy Cricket, whom I adore. And this release makes me just wanna collect every Jiminy Cricket there is, I'll tell you that. But this green color comes from him because he's a cricket, right? I love his coat with his tails and his top hat. I love that he's standing backwards here and kind of sly eyeing you over his shoulder and his umbrella. This pin is really, really cool, super fun. And then, of course, we have Figaro, Pinocchio's cat. Now, this is just funny because you don't usually see Figaro in this pea green color, but you know, it does make sense when it's with the Wisdom Collection. What I love about uh, Figaro here is Figaro is Pinocchio's cat, but Walt loved this character so much, he also made Figaro Minnie Mouse's cat, so Figaro gets a lot of screen time, that's for sure. This pin's really cute. Now, I loved this collection so much that I came very close to getting that Jiminy Cricket plush, but you know, I haven't gotten any of the plushes. I'm trying to keep focused here. I've been getting the pins though each month, but the, I really thought that Jiminy Cricket plush was super, super cute. But you know what? I'm pretty satisfied with this pin. So I have my banner here. Look at how amazing it looks. It has all the pins that we've collected so far, and you know what? I've completed a row, so I'm gonna have to figure out where to put this. I might just start down here and go across. We might have to shift things around, but let me put these on here and give you a close up. So here we've placed them down at the bottom of my banner. I am probably gonna have to rearrange the banner, that's for sure, but I'm loving how it feels. It's got some weight to it, right? Um, oh my gosh, we've had so many fun pins. I mean, we went through Dumbo, and then we went and got Baloo. Um, we have Miko here. We have Mushu going on here. Oh my gosh, the Piglet release was super fun. And of course, Beauty and the Beast, we have Lumiere and Cogsworth. Very fun. And now we get to add another fabulous classic with Jiminy Cricket and always let your conscience be your guide. Wow, I am loving this banner. Now next month, the uh, collection for Wisdom is from Bambi. And oh my gosh, that'll be really, really cute too. I think the plush is Bambi. And um, I think the pens have Bambi. I, I, I'm not sure if it's Flower or Thumper. One of the two, I can't remember, but it releases on August 17th. And you know, I know these have been still staying on Shop Disney, but I will still probably get up in the middle of the night because I wanna make sure I get them because I'm really having fun doing this collection. It's just been a lot of fun. So this was a lot of fun opening this pin haul. Here I have going on here, I got two really great fantasy pins to add to my collections, right? So Cheshire Cat and Hitchhiking Ghost. I mean, that is just a great day in itself. And um, oh, I got to play with some monthly release pins, which is always fun. So this has been kind of a fun activity I've had all month long. And of course, we have these really awesome pins for my banner, which I love. I might have to start a Jiminy Cricket collection, that's for sure. Anyway, let me know if you're collecting any of these pins and which ones you're collecting or which of these pins do you guys like. And do you have any fantasy pins? And if you do, what, you know, give me some ideas. Where are you going to get them? Because I'm really out there wanting to look now. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you have a magical day and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.